so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to create something like this, which I don't have attached. It was just a rough kind of try at seeing if I could do an axe head out of the EVA foam. And EVA foam is very versatile. Um, you can make lots of stuff like I made this ODST armor out of it and like did the spray paint on there for little symbols and all the this was very this is the first piece of armor I ever made but you can attach it to like costume stuff and it has that other side that's a different texture if you wanted to do that but a few things you're gonna need is some kind of handle to go with it I don't have anything that would be more friendly for actual like hitting people this is a straight up piece of a shovel handle so that you're gonna need exacto blades very important for cutting through the foam and then instead of hot glue today I'm gonna be using this gorilla epoxy because I've used it previously and I've had really good results with it we'll see if it works and you're gonna need a sharpie of course and sandpaper to get that edge smooth because it's pretty hard to get an exact smooth edge with the exacto so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is make a template of some kind of what you want and I'm gonna jump right over to doing that with this photo paper here the high gloss it's stout you can use start or cardstock or anything else that you'd like but this is what I'm gonna be using alright so right off the bat I know that this axe head that I previously made right here it was just a test. I didn't get it as big as I wanted it to be. I wanted it to come in at about seven inches on the downward part of the beard for the bearded axe. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna freehand this template using the old head as kind of a design. I'm gonna mark out at the seven inch point. And it also gives you a little bit more forgiving uh, more material to work with when cleaning it up. So then I'm gonna come over here, start on my tip, and you're gonna wanna give it enough extra off the back end so that it'll go into our pattern and be able to wrap around for when you cut when you put the two pieces together. You want that extra here. Alright. So then I just cut this out. Alright, but then in theory what we're going to do is we're going to take these two and fold them together to create that seam. And since I was in a rush on this one, since it was more of a demo, I didn't really make sure that that seam was lined up really good and I just jammed a bunch of hot glue in there. What I'm hoping to achieve is with the Gorilla Glue we'll be able to uh, seal it up really nice and tight. And on to the next step, we put it onto the EVA foam. Alrighty, so now we've got the design onto the EVA foam. We're going to trace it out.
Alright, so I, I got it done. The resin held pretty good. Got that nice hole for the hands. It's real rough, but right now we're just going to sand it down with the Dremel. boys girls ghouls and squirrels here we go it's the uh, Viking bearded axe that we made in that video this one is a uh, it's not done yet I'm gonna be doing the uh, painting and then I'm also gonna be engraving some really cool patterns on it all along here and then maybe some down on the handle and then we're gonna sand the handle so it's not a just a circle and we're gonna make it more look authentic get it more squared off maybe do some uh, leather wraps on there and uh, that'll be all covered in the next video so thank you so much if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and comment down below uh, tell all your friends about us also I wanted to bring up uh, Salty Dog Edgeworks super awesome custom knife shop uh, located out of Alamosa Colorado where I used to live, uh, went to middle school with the guy, super awesome dude, does custom knives, yes he takes requests, he's making me a Viking sax right now, and I am so excited to get it, I can't wait, and when I do, I will feature it on the channel, and show it off, so, have a great day!